The Emerson Umingagwa administration has made hints that it may pass legislation prohibiting unorganized political groups from running in elections. Minister Ziambi Ziambi, Umingagwa's justice minister, informed the state media that the government was thinking about regulating political parties to make sure they were organized. It might be necessary, according to Ziambi, to prevent political parties without institutions from running in national elections. This follows the recent recall of 15 MPs, 9 senators, and 17 councillors by Nelson Chamisa's structureless CCC opposition group. Senjizo Chibangu, a CCC member and the party's self-declared interim secretary-general, started the recalls even though the party does not have such a post because it lacks institutions. Ziambi claimed that the opposition's endless Recalls are a strain on the economy because they require the government to transfer money from other priorities in order to pay for by-elections. He stated, I believe that in the future, we must have debates and discussions to make sure that political parties are registered. They submit their bylaws and demonstrate their organization. We have had political groups that would just spring up as elections approached, which is the scenario as it stands right now. After elections, a group of people form a coalition but lack a recognized organizational structure. You can't determine who's who, therefore perhaps what needs to be explored is having proper registration for political parties so that none of the ones without infrastructure can run. While ZANU-PF rarely recalls its elected politicians, the opposition appears to have established a culture of doing so. Following the 2013 elections, the MBCT called for a change in the party's leadership. And as a result, 21 MPs, including the former finance minister Tenai Bidi, were removed from office. Following a leadership squabble, the MDCT recalled scores of MPs and council members after the 2018 elections. According to Ziambi, whenever there are recalls, the government is compelled to divert funds, and as a result, Funds that ought to be allocated to development programs are instead spent for elections. He stated, When a vacancy develops within 90 days, we are required by the Constitution and the Electoral Act to hold an election. Additionally, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission must deploy personnel to carry out all necessary preparations before an election, which results in an extra expense that must be covered by the taxpayers. Projects for development may have been funded with the money. We may improve the road to Victoria Falls and pay our contractor with this money. Among other things, given that we recently held another election, we must now adhere to the constitutional provisions that demand that we have by-elections within 90 days. Love Mormit Huku. A constitutional attorney has meanwhile demanded that the constitutional provision allowing parties to recall their members be removed. Medhuku stated, the Constitution should be changed to remove that section because the issue is not with the opposition parties themselves.